If you haven't positioned into gold and into silver, you need to change that behavior because depending upon this stuff is only putting you in the line, the direct line of fire. When all confidence is lost, then they bring out gold. And I've had so many people say to me, and I'm about to show this to you, but I've had a number of people say to me, well, Annette, how do you know that they do the revaluation against gold? Well, it's pretty simple. If you have this that has absolutely no confidence left in it and it's hyperinflating away so the public doesn't want to use it, you have to take something that has no intrinsic value and revalue it against gold money that's used in every single sector of the global economy so it is all utility and all intrinsic value. And you revalue this against this, and then that is supposed to garner the, con the confidence again. But if this or digital assets or whatever are not convertible into this, it ain't over yet. They're not done. Don't trust it. Don't trust it. So we know that last year Zimbabwe brought gold coins out. Well, by the time they did that, who in the world could afford them? Just the 1%, maybe the 10% in the upper echelons of the community. But their use of gold coins as legal tender leaves roots of economic weakness untouched. Why? Because they didn't change behavior. As the uptake of gold coins after their introduction mid-year increases significantly, 35% of the coins have been bought by individuals while 65% have been bought by corporations, including asset management and insurance companies. But I want you to look at this. Why would, you know, 35% uptick by individuals is understandable. I mean, hopefully those that are watching this video have been buying physical gold coins. I know I certainly have been. But why would corporations do this? Because prices in the goods and services that they sell are rising faster than they can increase those prices to the consumer. So with corporations, and we've seen that a bit in the U.S. as well, but with corporations buying physical gold coins, it saves their purchasing power as well because this is reflected in what's happening in the loss of purchasing power to the currency. So there are strategies that are executed in ITM strategy, because it's based upon, uh, uh, you know, upon the historic norm. And those companies that have learned from history, those individuals that have learned from history are actually buying physical gold to hold their purchasing power. And this is what it looks like. Now, this is the Zimbabwe dollar to the U.S. dollar and that revaluation that took place right there, 423. So last April, physical gold coins protect these overnight revaluations and devaluations. Now you can say to me, well, yeah, and they used the US dollar to do that revaluation. And yes, they did, except that what do you and I know here in the US, that the US dollar is losing purchasing power as well, right? It's losing purchasing power as well. So out of the frying pan into the fire, it's just that the Zimbabwe dollar is losing value faster than the US dollar at this point. But I believe that that's gonna change dramatically. I believe that we've already started the period of hyperinflation. But let's look at the uptick. And, and this is what I found really interesting when I, when I dug into this and looked. They make this about as clear as mud. So the gold coins, the ZIG tokens, the ZIG tokens are the central bank digital currency that is presumably backed by gold. Gold coins have been a great success with a cumulative 38,325 gold coins having been sold to the public 
as of October 31st, 2023. But again, it's just a small percentage of the population that can afford them. And I'm going to show you the pricing in terms of Zim dollars and U.S. dollars in just a minute. You want to get it while the price is still cheap. And even above $2,000 in this country, an ounce with the premiums, it's still dirt cheap. It still does not reflect its fundamental value. And it doesn't in Zimbabwe either. But since the first issuance on May 12th, 373.47 kilograms of Zig have been purchased. Okay, so they're trying to get people to adopt the, the Zimbabwe CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency, and in order to do that, they had to make gold a component of it. Is it really? I don't know. We're going to talk about that more in a second. But the positive growth and uptake of Zig has laid the foundation for the successful launch of the transactional phase, which was announced on October 5th of 2023. So this is using the Zig in transactions as a tool of barter. The question I have, and I've had right along, as you guys know, is can you convert the Zig into physical gold? We're going to answer that. The initial phase of the gold-backed digital tokens entailed the issuance of the value-preserving instruments for investment purposes with a vesting period of 180 days and redeemable in the same way as the gold coins. So no, not into gold coins, but redeemable back into either U.S. dollars or a local currency or the ZIG or uh, not the ZIG, the Zimbabwe dollar. So they're trying to de-dollarize. It's just that the dollar isn't going to save them either. But physical gold in your possession, that's what's going to protect you. The tokens are sold in U.S. dollars and local currencies. And that's all this stuff over here. But the latter shall be at a 20% margin above the willing buyer, willing seller interbank mid-rate. So you can use the local currencies, but it's going to cost you 20% more. So if you use the U.S. dollars, okay, this is the gold coin price as of December 2023. There's the fix. Now, the fix means that it's a small group of banks that go in and say, well, this is how much I would pay for gold or this is how much I would sell it. So with the fix at $2,045.40 in U.S. dollars, you're going to pay $21.47.67 on that day. And in Zimbabwe dollars, you're going to pay $13,695,084.38 plus a 20% premium. Now let's look at the gold-backed digital currency that can only be liquidated into this stuff. That's all. It can only be liquidated back into, into fiat, not into gold. It ain't over yet. Zimbabwe's currency crisis is not over. It, they, they just make it look like it, okay? So what they want to do is rebase the economy. This is from a current uh, IMF report on Zimbabwe. Technical assistance report, national accounts mission. So they want to continue to keep everything hidden. And I'm going to just, you can go in and read this report for yourself. But you can see that they have a plan. Do you have a plan? And they are executing that plan. August, this is resolve issues with VAT data in advance of the 22 annual publication. And that was to be done by August 2023. And it is completed, right? So they have a plan. They're executing it. We have a plan at ITM. You need to have that plan based upon your current goals, circumstances, what you have to work with, and you need to start executing it ASAP. But let's look at a rebasing, because what does that mean? What exactly does that mean? Rebasing of GDP and supply and use tables. 
Well, rebasing the GDP is the process of replacing an old base year with a more recent base year to keep up with the evolution in prices. In other words, by rebasing everything, you're going from a GDP that's declining by 20% to one that's, that's growing by 2%. They're using current inflationary data to make things appear different. But again, that's changing the formula, not changing the behavior. If you haven't positioned into gold and into silver, you need to change that behavior because depending upon this stuff is only putting you in the line, the direct line of fire. And I know some people, this blows my mind, frankly, but I do know some people are, oh, well, I don't know about gold, but gold has been around for thousands and thousands of years as money and has held its purchasing power over time, regardless of the changes in all the formulas and, and all the manipulations, it has maintained that key function, in my opinion, the single most important function, which is to hold its purchasing power over time. This, you lose purchasing power. The true value of fiat money, government-based, debt-based money is zero, zero. You have to keep that in mind.